much energy. That's what I was just going to say, is the it's energy just like, is just, Energizer Bunny. I would have loved to obviously have seen them live at that yeah. time, because it would have been a great, I'm sure, feeling, vibe in the audience. Yeah. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hey guys, and welcome back. Thanks for joining us for another reaction video. We appreciate the love. We appreciate the support. We appreciate you tuning in. And uh, you're tuning in to uh, somebody that we, or a group, I guess, that we reacted to a little while ago. For yes. the second time now, we're doing them, Iron Maiden. And we're doing the live version, as we said we would do. <laughs> we said we'd do the studio first, get a feel for the track. Yes. And then we do the live version. And uh, it's great because you guys were able to guide us on kind of which live versions that we should be doing. Mm -hmm. Right? So this one is yeah. from 1982. And um, I actually forget, where is it from again? England. I believe you said it was in Britain. UK, right? Yeah, um, UK. But I can't remember the name of the theater. Odeon or something? Yeah, something like that. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, so this was one of the ones that you suggested. Uh, I think the other one that you suggested was in Rio, um, but this one was the one that we went with, so hopefully this is a good selection. I'm sure you'll let me know, because you guys don't hold back in those comments. That's all good, though. <laughs> you did inform us about Bruce, who is the lead singer, uh, and how, you he's know... He's impressive. He's got a, a nice uh, resume going with his ability to be a pilot and does fly the, the band around on tour, has done that before. That's so cool. And uh, I think you guys said he has a, a PhD or two as well, which is also really Super cool. Impressive. And he's, he's killing this uh, his music thing as well. Yeah. So I mean, it'd be cool to see what the live performance is like now that we've got a feel for the track. Yeah. I really did enjoy that song. I did too. It was good. Um, it was it was a great introduction to them and, you know, you know that back and forth vibe between, you know, what's going on, where you're going, the afterlife, all that stuff that we talked about. There was a lot of layers in their tracks. So yeah. this time we get to just focus on the performance of them yeah. because we know kind of what the song is all about, right? So uh, with that said, are you uh, ready to, to get it going? Let's do it. All right, let's do some Iron Maiden. Oh no, we gotta get the first little bell in there in the beginning. Can't miss the first bell. I got goosebumps, man, when they first dropped that in, when, like, I the know, instrumentation so came in, like, that deep, like, just all, everything's subtle, and his yeah. vocal comes in, and it's a really great vocal live, too. I was gonna say, like, I heard him so clearly in what he was saying yeah. live, like, sometimes you don't get that with yeah. live, right? It was really good. Yeah, and like I said, everything just came in and exploded, and I was like, boom, instantly got <laughs> some goosebumps. Like, poof. Sorry, sorry guys, I gotta run it back a little bit further. Sands of time for me are running
it's so crazy. much energy, bro. I love it. So much energy, and his he's like he's not even taking a breath. <laughs> he's no. just like going. Even <laughs> the know. guitar players, like they sound so good. Yeah, every, everything's so smooth. Uh, you know the the way that they're you know hitting everything, just the basically the same way that I listened to it when we did the studio version, yeah. right? And it does sound great, but I'm glad that we did that studio version because I know the song and yeah. I can really appreciate like what they're doing. Yeah, get into it. Yeah. Exactly. Instead yeah. of try to like listen for the song and watch the yeah. performance. The exactly. Yeah, exactly. Because this is sick. Like, this is yeah. so cool. And uh, they're doing such a great job. So, yeah. loving it. up again. sick i love that like strobe light effect at the end of the light yeah no i was so sick such a sick performance oh yeah um on so many levels i was really looking forward to seeing that vocal that he does at the yeah. end that last note and uh i like how he had like a little shift in his pitch there it was really cool yeah, at the end he's awesome. um he's so, so much energy that's what i was just gonna say is the it's energy just like the is just, energizer bunny. would have loved to obviously have seen them live at that yeah. time because it would have been a great i'm sure feeling vibe in the audience yeah. They were loving it. One thing, too, I didn't mention, I liked in the beginning with the audience, they were clapping as, like, the metronome, almost, yeah. for his vocal and stuff, which was yeah. really cool. And there's just so many things about this song that make it so epic that, you know, are just the tempo shifts and everything. And, like, even, like, when they do the guitar solo, adding a little bit of tempo shift in there is so, so cool as yeah. well. So, and then, like like I said, the the drop off from the studio version of this there was none you know it was all it was uh, like i was i would agree with what you guys so said is it's better right because yeah, I was, it's better. I like yeah. It better. 
because of the energy, because of yeah. you know seeing what they did. But the sound wise, like I said, there was definitely so no good. no drop off at all. And yeah. uh, but like I really enjoyed this because like I said, we got to know the song 100%. beforehand. I think I would have not been able to get as much from it having yeah. never heard it and watching. There's just so much going on with the performance. Like yeah. just watching him and his energy alone, you're getting mesmerized yeah. for a second, right? I also like because I am such a visual person, I would get sucked up. Like I usually get sucked up in like a music video or the performance. Yeah. Yeah. more than actually listening like it obviously sounds good but more yeah. than the instrument or like the musical element yeah. and then I'm like wait just what does even happen it's hard to do both it's definitely yeah. hard to do both for your first yeah. time listening so to something or whatever up, so nice. that's that's the hard part of actually doing reaction videos yeah. is, it is difficult sometimes to take everything in but uh, I really enjoyed that so mm -hmm. I'm so glad we got to, to see that so thank you for that recommendation guys really epic performance hope you enjoyed our reaction if you did you know what to do hit that like button for us helps with the algorithm helps Iron Maiden pop up in that search feed and uh, leave us a comment let us know what you think let us know if there's other Iron Maiden that we should look into and uh, we'll definitely look into doing that because they've been you know like I said fire. great great experience so Straight far fire. so with that said guys hit, the, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already go check out the other video that we did with Iron Maiden our first time listening to them if you have if you haven't seen that one and uh, come back soon and check out our next video guys thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one take care